In just two days, a team of Purdue professors and students will be packing their things and going to Zambia. The African country has a population of more than 14 million people, but has just one audiologist. For the last few years, that person has been getting some help from Purdue's Speech, Language, and Hearing Sciences program. Lada Krishnan and Christy Masters lead this special study abroad opportunity, and it is the focus of this month's installment of Purdue 101. Good morning to you guys. Very nice to have you in today. Thank Good you. Good morning. Thank you for having us. So tell us, uh, what kind of work will you and the students be doing in Zambia, and who is going to be benefiting from this work, Lada? Uh, so the, fo the fro focus of the program is twofold. One is for the students to gain intercultural experience and then the second of course is for them to get some clinical training. So um, in my opinion the benefit is far greater for the students um, in terms of what they gain from the program because it is a very short two-week program in Zambia in terms of trying to help the local people in Zambia. And Christy, you guys have done this for three years running now. Mm -hmm. The one audiologist in the whole country is a Purdue alum. He is. And that's how this all came about, correct? It did, exactly. So he graduated and now we have built that connection and it's been a good collaboration. So. And what do aud audiologists do, just for a very basic question, so we know exactly what's going to be going on. You brought some of the equipment that you might be using over there. Mm -hmm. So um, one of the things we do is provide hearing screening. So so we carry some uh, very portable handheld kinds of equipment to provide hearing screenings. Over the past three years or two years, we have screened, oh, about eight or nine hundred children while we are there. Um, the goal, of course, is if they don't pass the screening, then we refer them to the audiologist mm -hmm. and hope that they receive the follow-up that they need after we have left the country. The need is clearly great. 14 million people, one audiologist in the entire country. Christy, what are the kids, and some of them have disabilities that you work with, how badly do they need this? What is their reception to you all coming and helping out? What is it like being on the ground there? It's been really a positive experience. Um, although they don't have um, trained professionals as in the U.S., they do have people that are working with them and very eager to learn and to build their skills and be able to help the kids there. So. And we're looking at some of the photos now that you guys have taken over the years in Zambia. What is it like for the students now on the other side to go to this country? I'm betting none of them have ever been there before. Mm -hmm. And they get to not only help the locals here, but they also get to see another culture that they've never experienced. What is that like? Uh, you know, most students when they return from a study abroad program say that it has been transformational and changed their lives. We try to take it a little bit further because we are working with people in the community, direct services, d direct services, and we do a lot of reflection on the kinds of cultural experiences they've had um, and um, what they've observed. And many of them come back talking about similarities that they've observed rather than just differences and how different everything is. And Christy, is that what, what you want everybody who takes the program? program to come away with? Do you want them to have that global reflection? And what are the things are you looking for students to come out of it with? Yeah, definitely just being able to, the world we live in now is so diverse. And so as clinicians, they are going to be working with so many different types of people. And this really helps open up their worldview and, and just to interact with people and provide better services. So. Lada Krishnan and Christy Masters, we really appreciate the time. Good luck on the trip. Have Thank a safe you. trip. We wish you the very best Thank and uh, continuing to provide services to Zambia. Thanks, Thanks so much Thank for coming in. Thank you very much for having us.